Hello, Paul Chuck here from Chucks. Today we are going to present a new cable for you, a new flex cable, which is purple and is going to be released in uh, September 2019. We are approaching summer, so we are not there yet, but it's very hot here in the studio. And we are going to uh, talk about how to use this cable to, uh, to power some of the Volca uh, units from, from Cork. I've seen lately that uh, some guitar players are using uh, maybe a drum machine, maybe a keyboard on, on their pedal board, and also uh, some of those uh, musicians using sequencer keyboards, uh, uh, drum machines and stuff like that, they are using guitar pedals. And all these units, they need power. And uh, what we do is power supply, so this is why we made this cable also to be able to support um, the Korg Volca units. What I've brought here is uh, three units from, uh, from Korg. It's Volca Beats, we, we have got Volca Keys here, and also Volca Mix. And I'm going to show how to power a single of them, and maybe a couple of those, uh, talk about the current draw, and stuff related uh, to powering these units. First of all, if you buy uh, Volca keys or beats, you will receive um, the unit itself. We do a little bit unboxing here. So what you get is actually um, a box where you get the, the batteries, but you don't get the adapter. So if you wish to power this of an adapter, you have to buy it separately. Um, but if you already have a DC7 or other type of uh, other model from, from, from Chucks, you can actually power it using a pedal power supply. You just need the right cable for it. So this is the keys and uh, the power input is up here. It's 9 volt DC, so it's pretty standard as for guitar pedals. But you will notice that um, the jack which, uh, which you, you have to use is, is much smaller. So it's not the standard 5.5 millimeter barrel, it's rather a 4.7 millimeter. And this is where the purple flex uh, comes in. We've made it especially to, to match the Volca units, and you can see it, uh, it matches the polarity, it matches also mechanically. And the nice thing about this is that you also have an angle connector instead of having the original, which is sticking a little bit more out, making maybe a little bit more difficult to, to adjust uh, the knobs here around here. But um, having the keys, let's see how much current it actually needs. So here we've got uh, the keys connected to the DC7 power supply. It's set to 9 volts and we are going through the amp meter. And now we're going to, to turn it on to show you how much current it's actually consuming. So here we go. And it's pulling around in between 90 and 100 milliamps when all the lights were flashing. We can also let it play. I think it's a kind of demo song in it. And it's still around 90 milliamps. We can try to put the volume up. I don't know where that is. That's here. And this is at full volume. So as you can see, 100 milliamps is not much. Having, I'm just going to stop this. So 100 milliamps compared to 660, uh, which you have available on the, one of these outlets is, is not much. So uh, technically you could actually power like five or six of these guys using just one outlet. So now we've got the, uh, the, the other cork unit here, Volca Beats, which is connected. And we are trying to, we'll turn it on and see how much current that guy needs. So here we go. And it's just about 53 milliamps, so it's more, almost nothing. It's like a drive pedal or something. And if we start to get some sound of it, the, the current is of course uh, starting to grow, but it's still like 70 milliamps. If, if I try to put a, 
push all these buttons, try to make a lot of noise, it never reaches more than 90 milliamps. So now the question is, can we power two of these using just a single outlet? I mean, you could, uh, you could just take another, if you, purple cable, the 8050, and use the other outlet. So you can go like this, plug that in, and use another outlet to power this one. And no problem with that. They would just use each of the DC7 outlets, and now they are isolated. But is that really necessary? Now this is a Cork Volca Mix, which is a mixer which allows you to, to put three of the other Volca units in that and mix the signals into one audio signal. But it's also a, a box which comes with, with the adapter if you buy it. So uh, you can see the, the packaging is a little bit larger for the mix and uh, you actually get the adapter. So what you can do is, is use the include adapter for the mix, plug the power in here, and then you're able to power three Volcas of these DC outlets. And I ask myself a question, if these are isolated, these might need to get isolated power. But I actually open that up and measure that these three outputs are totally connected in parallel. So it's like a daisy chain with three plugs. And here on this picture, I'm including here, you can see how I'm measuring from point to point of these plugs and showing you that the resistance is almost zero. And this means that, according to Korg at least, they don't have to have isolated power. If you don't need to power these two or more Volca units of a isolated source, you might as well use what we call the split adapter. It, it is a splitter cable which allows you to use um, the type of cable you, you would like to, to have for, for your unit you'd like to power. In this case the purple cable, the Volcaflex, which we probably will call it in the future. So what you do is, is use this one and since these units draw less than 100 milliamps, powering two of a single outlet is not a problem. So now I'm going to uh, actually use the, the amp meter and measure the total current draw. So I'm going to have the amp meter at the outlet, then I have the splitter, and then have the two Volcas connected to the splitter cable just to show you how the current is actually summing up. So here we've got the, the splitter cable, two purple vocal flex, and then I'm able to turn on both this one. This is like a 50 milliamps. Let's have it playing here. Let's make some noise. And then we have this keyboard. It's at, it adds up, so now we are above 100 milliamps. We can also let that play and turn up the volume. So now we've got a lot of noise here, but we are still staying below 200 milliamps. And just to show you how it's done without this measuring device, we can disconnect it and just use the splitter cable and put it here and power it on again. And let the noise begin. So this is just um, two Volca units, part of a single outlet. If you have more of these, you can use two outlets and power four. It's up to you. Okay, one last thing I'd like to show you is uh, how to power all these three guys with the DC7. At the moment we have the mix connected to one outlet of DC7, 3 amp meter. And we can see with no load, just with the display on, it's pulling out at 200 30 milliamps. And now I'm going to use these outlets to power these two. So we are only using one outlet to power all three of them, but using the cables from, from Cork. So now I'm going to plug in the Volca Beats. 
and the keys. And you see they're not turned on, so the current is still 230. And now I'm powering the keys on. And the current is rising. And then I'm powering this one on. And we are approaching the 400 milliamps. We have still no sound. I haven't tried this before, so I'm going to put play on this. And now I see that the sound is coming out of there. It's not much. And I don't know. The current is 370. Let's see if we can get some of the keys. It's not synchronized. I'm not very good at that. I'm just trying to, to show you the, the, the current draw of this. So at the moment we have these two guys and this one powered of a single outlet of the DC7. And we are not even at 400 milliamps. So if, oh, now if I try to use more sounds, I get like just around 400. So, but still a long way to 660. So I could imagine that if you put a third Volca unit on this, uh, let's get some more volume on this. It's too hard to play this. Anyway, it shows a little bit about how to power one or two of the Volca units of DC7 using the new, new purple flex cable, the Volca flex. And the last thing here, we have uh, the mix where we have these two units connected here and everything powered just of a single outlet. So if you have more units, more pedals, you can just use the DC7 to power your synthesizer setup. This year I was for the first time at the super booth just to have a look at the nice pink, pink, pink toys, all the synthesizers, drum machines and stuff like that. And I met up with uh, the Swedish company uh, Electron and they, uh, they have some very, very nice good looking quality products. And we also did a, a little measurement session where we tried to power some of the devices with the new DC7 power supply. So we've, uh, we've actually measured the, the Digitact, Digitone and the analog heat and figure out that the one outlet was not enough to power each of these units because of the initial startup current. So having, uh, using the parallel adapter flex and two outlets was actually sufficient. And uh, this is again showing that you can use a power supply for pedals to power also instruments like drum machines, sequencers, synthesizers, stuff like that. Yes, it's being turned on and initially it draws just around 700 milliamps, just below 700. And then after the uh, startup phase with the microprocessor and everything, the current is falling to 450 milliamps. The second unit we measure is a Digitone and again the current goes above 700 and then again after the initial phase the current is dropping to just about 500 milliamps which is could be enough just with one outlet but we will be using two outlets just because of this initial higher current. And the last unit from Electron we are testing is the analog heat and here the current is actually higher. It's got a lot of analog circuitry, so it's around 900 milliamps and it stays there. So two outlets definitely needed uh, from the DC7 to power the analog heat from Electron. So in this video you've seen how to use the new purple Volca Flex to power uh, Cork Volca units, how to power a single one of them, how to power two using the split adapter flex, and how to also use the mix unit together with keys and beads connected and powering everything here just of a single outlet. We've also shown you some very short clips where we are powering the electron units from the DC7 and that is also possible. It's just to show that powering synthesizers, sequencers, keyboards, stuff like that of a pedal power supply which is also possible and having a setup with where you have a combination of guitar pedals and some of these nice music toys, it's possible to power everything just of a single power supply. Thanks for watching, subscribe, see you soon.